Hi, welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. So today we're going to use the air fryer oven and we're going to cook breaded chicken cutlet. Okay, breaded chicken cutlet. So I have three of them. All right, and I already put the seasoning on it and the breadcrumbs. So I'll just the camber and I'll catch you up to that point and then we're going to put them in. All right, all right, let me do that. Okay, so here's our cutlets here. We have three of them. One here and two here, okay? All right, and the seasonings, I put Lowry's on there, black pepper, and ground garlic. Now, you know seasoning is your choice. If you like some other kind of seasoning, by all means, do that, okay? All right. So I use the um, these breadcrumbs here. It says breaded crumbs. Okay, this is just a regular uh, brand. It's uh, it's not flavored with anything. Okay. All right. So we did all of that. Now we already have them breaded. So I'm going to spray a little olive oil on there and the reason why I'm spraying, I'm sorry, grapeseed oil I'm using today. And the reason why I was spraying the grapeseed oil on there is so that the breadcrumbs uh, come out looking uh, like fried. As if not, the breadcrumbs will come out looking watery. So you see I'm doing both sides. Do not saturate the whole thing. Just uh, a little bit and hopefully the oil will run. Same thing with the second one. I hope your day is going well. And then we get the third one. Okay, there we go. Now let me see if this is going to fit on one tray. If not, we'll have to do two trays. Oh, uh, let's see. I think we can make it. Let me show you that. Okay, so here we go. We have the three breaded chicken cutlets. Okay, all right, and in they go into the air fryer. And I was trying to do two hands, and that's not working for me today, so I better go. I was trying to do one hand, and I needed to do two. Okay, the door, you know, comes off, so sometimes it gets to the point where you have to readjust it and sit it back into the slot. Okay. We're going to turn it on. Let's cook this on 370. I don't want it cooking too fast because it has breadcrumbs on it. And let's go with, uh, well, we're going to go with 20 minutes and then we're going to check it, okay, and see what's going on. Okay, and there we go. 20 minutes on 370. All right, and we'll be back. Okay, so you see we have our off button. Uh, on so it, it just cut off So let's take a look and see oh looks good Let's see let's see I just wanted you to get a view of that Red it chicken cutlet, okay, so let's take a temperature. It's only been cooking 20 minutes on 370. So let's see. I have my thermometer here. I'm going to stick it right into the middle. Okay, we're done. We're over 165. We are done. Wow, that looks delicious. 
Okay, let me plate that. I just wanted to point out, when you uh, cook something that's breaded, you don't want to turn it over. Because, of course, if you turn this over and then put it in, you're going to lose some breadcrumbs, right? So that's why we don't turn it over. So let me just take one out and take a plate. going to put them all on the plate first. Got to make it look pretty, you know. Clean this up. All right, so now I need a fork. Let me let you get another view. How about that? And what about a view with myself in the picture? Let's see if we can do that. Hey, look at that. Breaded chicken cutlet. Wow. Okay, let's take a taste. Okay, and blow this off. Crunchy, tender. Very good. I like it. I like it better than if it was just plain. The crunch brings something to the table. I like it. Okay, let me finish chewing and let me give you the word of the day, all right? Be right back. Okay, the word of the day. Well, today is Valentine's Day and I don't think that this uh, video is going to go up today. So you, this is a late Valentine's uh, word of the day for you, okay? But it still applies. So Valentine's Day, we all look forward to something, whether it's uh, chocolates or uh, out to dinner or uh, I love you or something. We all look forward to something. Okay, and some of us get that and some of us don't. But just remember this, if you don't get anything and if you do get something, Grandma Ray loves you and happy Valentine's Day to you. Whether it's on Valentine's Day or after Valentine's Day, my love is year round. Okay, so just remember that. So I'm, I don't just love on you on Valentine's. I love on you all year long. You know why? You made me happy. And my YouTube family is my Valentine's present today. Because you guys bring the joy out of me. And I hope that someone, in addition to me, bring the joy out of you. Okay? And if no one does love on yourself right because you can make you happy okay if you're not gonna get nothing for Valentine's Day go on out and get you that cake or the candy or whatever you flowers whatever you want for Valentine's Day love on you because you deserve it okay happy Valentine's Day okay uh, I'd like for you to subscribe if you, this is the first time you're here on this channel and share the video, okay? All right, and maybe you didn't give someone a Valentine's present. Maybe you couldn't afford it. Uh, 
forward this video to them, share it, and then they themselves will be able to receive this. Okay? All right. Bye-bye. Love you.